you want to see greatness, you need to start to prepare for it now while you are thinking of it. is a man with a womb and because you have got the womb God has given you an ability to take the seed in incubate it nature it and you bring it forth which means that as women we are given the responsibility to be home builders it is off your hands but now the Lord is bringing it back Once again, I want to wish each one of you a happy 2022. It is with great joy I want all our viewers to know that in this year, we are so expectant from the Lord and we are trusting God to do the greatest. Listen to me. I've started a series about greatness. I want you to follow me on this series and let the greatness that is hidden inside of you manifest out. Greatness is what everyone has been created with. I want you to join me as I expand on greatness because you are destined to be great in Jesus' name. God bless you and shalom. I will make of thee a great nation. I will make. I want you to know Greatness is as a result of the making of the Lord. May the Lord make some great people in the house. I say, may he make your business great. May he make your marriage great. May he make your finances great. May he make your career great. May you be made great in the name of Jesus. Because he said, I will make of thee a great nation. And I'll bless you. I'll empower you to take over blessing mean empowerment you are empowered to prosper you are wired to make it you are permitted to go forward you are allowed to go up that's what blessing mean and he said and I'll make thy name greater there are people in this house I come to prophesy your name is about to be celebrated in the name of Jesus I declare greatness upon you they have called you barren you shall be called a mother of the twins in the name of the Lord. They have called you poor. You are about to be called the rich in the name of the Lord. I hear the Lord is saying, I'm about to make your name. I'm about to make your name 
great greatness comes from the lord don't be afraid child of god when the lord put you in the season of greatness that's why when the lord start to lift you up i know there are people who don't understand that the lord is the maker of the greater when they see the lord making you and you are becoming greater some of you be thinking maybe you new york maybe you can really but i come to talk to somebody it shall be by the blessing of the lord it shall be by the permission of yahweh it shall be by the performance of god it shall be uh, by the allowance of Jehovah. It shall be uh, by the blessing of the Lord. Uh, somebody shout glory. It shall not be by your education. The Lord said I will make you. That's why there are people right now who are on the floor and they are about to be celebrated. How many of you thought of David who was a shepherd boy, a last born in the family. No one was taking good care of him. No one was noticing of him. When there was a meeting at home, he was in the field taking care of the animals. When the big brothers were talking, he was right in the field taking care of the animals. Even when Samuel came to anoint a king, they never invited David because he was already undermined. They knew he did not qualify but I want you to hear me. The Bible says I will make you. It is the Lord who is the maker of the greatness. It is the Lord who is the maker of the greater. There is no Sangoma. There is no witch that can make you greater. I feel it in here. It is the Lord who is the maker of every great person. It is the Lord who is the maker of the great people i prophesy let the lord make you greater make your business greater make your career greater in the name of the lord let Jehovah, Yahweh, let him make you great shout glory i will make you great and the bible says when Samuel came, they called the six muscular guys. And the small boy was left behind. And when he looked, he said, the Lord has not chosen any of this. Are these the only children you have, Mr. Jesse? And he said, there is another small boy. He's taking care of the cows. And he said, we shall not sit down until he comes. Is turning the elder brothers into protocols. They say you're going to stand still until he appears. Because the Lord hasn't chosen any of this. I come to talk to somebody. There are people who have been trying to go in front of you. There are people who have been ravishing your name so that they may rise on your weakness. There are people who have wrongly advertised you so that they may look better. There are people who have tried to switch off your candle so that their light may shine better. There are people who have removed the ladder that you may not go up. But listen to me. The Bible says even when this guy David was not around, they still said we shall not sit down until David come here. I pray for you today. Your people shall not rest until your miracle is completed. Whoever has chosen you, whoever has chosen you, whoever has chosen you to be the king, he shall make sure he calls everybody not to sit down until you occupy your space in the name of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias could not take the position of David because of his absence. Because it was a season of greatness. Because he said, I will make you greater and your name shall be greater. Listen to me, child of God. There are some of you who are listening to me right now. You say they have ravished my name. They are trying to work against me. They are talking to my superiors that I may lose my job. They are telling my, my people must give me tenders that I may not get a tender. They are trying everything in their power out of jealousy. But listen to me. When the five children of Jesse came, David was not there. 
I come to prophesy. No one shall take your plate. No one shall take your seat. No one shall take your space. No one shall take your job. No one shall take your tender. No one shall take your promotion. Nobody shall take your career. Nobody shall take your customers. No one shall take your money. No one shall take your position. In the name of the Lord, somebody say, My greatness shall wait for me. 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 And when the young boy was coming from the field with his catapult, a sling, and he had this bag as a shepherd, I can imagine him in a Bermuda. I can imagine the legs are so white with mud and he hasn't combed the hair. And why was he coming? Because the Bible says he does not look at the outward appearance of a man. He looks at the heart. And he said, rise! That is the man. That is the man. And when he came, they poured oil on him. That was the beginning of the greatness of David. Oh, praise the Lord. I always enjoy to author, to write, because knowledge is power. You may be there and you are saying, I want to grow in my Christian work. We have a bookshop at our church where different books that I've authored. So far, I've done 10 books on different topics from prayer to deliverance. I need you to visit us. Come and pick up those that are going to resonate with your spirit and grow in the things of God. Apart from that, I'm inviting all of you from all over this nation, South Africa and the continent to fellowship with us in our various branches. One of the strongest branches we are establishing right now, which has been existing for the past four years, is Pretoria Branch. If you are anywhere in Gauteng, I want you to come to Pretoria Branch and come and experience the power of the Holy Spirit. The people that are in Pumalanga, we are right at number 12, Samora Masho, in the city of Neospread, now renamed in Bombela. And we have other branches in Leidenberg, Savi, Akono, Bushback Ridge, Madras. We'll be looking forward to host you. I want you to be part of this ministry, especially in this year, 2020. And I know your life will never be the same. What are you waiting for? Come and fellowship with us. And the Bible says, a few months from then, he was sent by the father to say, your brothers have gone to battle. Go and check how they are doing. And he was going there, Abambes Kaftin. And he's going there, maybe he did it perhaps in the parish, and some chicken that was bought to go and give the brothers. Upon arrival from afar, he saw everybody who was reversing and retreating. And he got interested. And he said, why are you retreating? He said, lift up your eyes and you see there is a six feet giant there. His name is called Goliath. Have you seen the spear that is carrying? Let me tell you something. Before God make you greater, he create an opportunity for you to overcome a challenge. That's why I come to announce to you, don't don't be afraid of a challenge in your life. Don't be afraid of an attack in your life. Don't be afraid of what you are going through. Whatever you are going through, it's about to announce you. Somebody shout glory. Before a champion is made, a problem is first created whereby your power comes to an end and you say how can I overcome this it is only in that the opportunity of greatness come so God wanted to make now David great how does he make you great does he bring 1 million no does he bring 10 million no how does God make you greater he creates a problem and he gives you a solution to a problem he gives you power to overcome a problem and the bible says when the boy arrived he took the lunch box and he put it down and he listened to the story and he said what is going on here he said listen when a young man you see that guy there that guy is a giant and we, he's asking for who can go and challenge him. He has been making an appeal for 40 days. And none of us is willing to go. And David listened to the guy speaking, blasphemy to the Lord. And he said, who is this? 
and circumcised Philistine. That is blaspheming the name of the Lord. And he said, I want to take him on. And the king out of care, he said, you cannot go. But listen to me. Greatness is not in your muscle. Greatness is not in your pocket. Greatness is not in the car you drive. Greatness is not in the house. Greatness is what the Lord has imparted upon you. Let me prophesy in the name of the Lord. There are people seated here right now. They don't have anything to show. But there is greatness inside of them. And the greatness inside of them is waiting for an opportunity. There is an opportunity time that is coming to announce your name some of you it's the opportunity of a business some of you it's an opportunity when the Lord shall perform a miracle and everyone shall shout hallelujah Hosanna and the soul said listen David you are too young don't go like that you are gonna die let me protect you don't that one sound like your grandfather Kabuyaba. he sound like Mkuru don't go like that in your marriage. You need to carry a calabash. Don't, don't go like that for your tender. You, you need something under your tongue. Don't, don't go like that. You need a rope on your waist. Don't go like that, young boy. You must start here. That's exactly what Saul said to David. Come and he gave him the boots. Come and he gave him the helmet. Come and he gave him something. And David really tried to walk. He said, I cannot fight in this kind of an attire. Because the book of Corinthians says, Our weapons, they are not carnal. Our weapons are not carnal. They are mighty and to pulling down every stronghold and David removed everything and when he removed everything he said leave me alone let me go after this Goliath and when he went before Goliath he said to him you come to me with all the javelins you come to me with all the snakes you come to me with all the tokoloshi you come to me with all the demons you come to me with all your altars but I have an announcement to make I come to you in the name of the most high I come to you in the name of the Lord and I can imagine the scripture from David which he wrote about later it came in his spirit some may trust in chariots some trust in horses but I shall trust in the name of the Lord and I imagine David standing and he put the sling when you start Goliath you're gonna be told he had a big helmet that covered the entire head but when this young man released a stone it was the holy ghost controlling it it was the holy ghost controlling it and the bible says the small stone became an intercontinental ballistic missile and it had to explode on the forehead of goliath and he fell down when he fell down david ran after him and he cut off the head and he lifted up the head and it was on mount Golgotha, and all the israelites were all freed i want you to hear me it was the same place where goliath died that's why the cross of jesus was lifted i come to talk to somebody when jesus died he killed your goliath he destroyed your goliath he destroyed your poverty he destroyed your sickness every premature death in the name of the Lord every witchcraft power has been overcome at Mount Gologota shout glory that's why the Bible says and he defeated the devil 
and made a public show of him. That's what David did. Lifted up the head and showed all the Philistines. And Israel rose in power. I want you to hear me today. You know what happened right there. Everyone started to sing. And David killed tens of thousands. And so killed thousands. He was sung because now the name was being made greater. What made the name greater? It was a challenge that you overcome. I come to talk to somebody. Whatever you are going through, it's about to announce you in the mighty name of the Lord. I say it's about to announce you. You are about to know there is a God who makes a way where there is no way. There is a God who announces people there is a god who changes seasons there is a god who wipe away tears there is a god who changes names there is a god a shepherd boy became the king of the land because why greatness was announced in him by creating an opportunity to challenge the biggest problem the first thing he needed to do was to build the ark to build the altar in the land so that he could let god take charge of whatever he was going to do in that place why because an altar gives you authority gives you power to control certain dimensions You will never be great without knowing Jesus. The only person that can make you great is Jesus, the one who died and rose again. Why don't you open your heart and receive him? If I were you, I will say today, Jesus, come in my heart. Forgive my sins. Let me become a new creation. I've tried everything. Let me try Jesus. And I'm telling you, the greatness we are talking about is going to manifest in your life. I want to invite each one of you to come and fellowship with us in the city of Neospread at number two of Samora Michelle. Those who need counseling, the number is on the screen. Call me and I'll revert back to you. I always rejoice to hear from you. Let me know what this word is doing in your life. God bless you. Shalom. To all our viewers at home, thank you for tuning in. If you'd like a copy of the sermon or you'd like to fellowship with us, please visit us at 12 Samora Machal Street in the city of Mbombela every Saturday at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 8 a.m. For access to a vast library of content, visit our YouTube page, Holy Ghost Fire TV, and subscribe for free to keep abreast of the latest material from our ministry. Looking forward to seeing you again, same time next week.